Hello and a very warm welcome to Healing Home Services card for the day and my name is Julie Sean and today is Wednesday the 17th of February 2021. It is also the uh, National Day of uh, Kindness Acts so just wondering what kind of uh, act of kindness you're going to do today. Don't forget that the act of kindness can be towards yourself as well as to others. So today is Wednesday, Holy Day of the Fairies, that's normal, very green. And we are using the fairy oracle cards to connect with the fairies. So shuffle the cards. I have used these most Wednesdays. Um, so just getting ourselves grounded, connecting with our angels, archangels, spirits and guides, our gods, our goddesses, and our ancestors, our elementals, including, of course, the fairies, and asking what the fairies, what message they have to us today, um, wondering what, how they're going to help us to pass on some random acts of kindness to people. Okay, shuffle. Oh, there's one popping out always happens we have breaking free i wanna break free in that song by queen <laughs> i won't sing it i'm not a singer breaking free we have an illusion that we're stuck inside a box and it is only an illusion we think we're stuck in a certain life and it's like oh we can't do this because of this we can't do that because of that and yes, we are stuck in some circumstances, but we are also able to start working towards removing those blockages, working towards uplifting and raising our, our vibration. <clears throat> so if you think you're in a place at the moment, say a lacking of money, maybe have a look and start working on wondering why you haven't got the lack of money and where can you start bringing it in maybe you're in a relationship that you feel you're trapped in have you actually taken steps to thinking right how can i start moving out of this relationship um or maybe you're in a job that you're hating maybe in instead of just whinging and moaning all the time have a look and think what can I do about this job? Because the once upon a time when you applied for it, it was the job. So maybe it's time to break free. Maybe you're stuck in the position you're in and maybe it's time to speak to your manager or the director and say, look, I can do more for you. What can I do to get a promotion? Or maybe you feel you've promoted yourself so much in the business you are now that you've got so much um, uh, knowledge and wisdom that maybe it's time for you to go to another place where you can share this knowledge and wisdom and expertise that you have gained. What is it that you want to break free from? Are you wanting to break free from your monotony of your life? And what would you like to do? If I waved a magic wand, what would you like to be able to do? And maybe it's time to start, instead of thinking, start acting. So, let us see what the book says about breaking free. <coughs> Excuse me, breaking free. Do you feel trapped in some life area? This card asks you to take the first steps in freeing yourself from any un unnatural restrictions. Sometimes we feel trapped by outside circumstances. For instance, we believe that financial or family obligations compel us to accept an unsatisfactory job. Or we're afraid to leave or fix an unhealthy relationship. Perhaps we feel that our family or spouse won't let us pursue life enhancing activities, such as college classes or exercise programs. Then again, maybe we feel controlled by our own addictions. That own addiction could be the feeling of lack of belief feeling that we are not able to, or we're not capable of. That is a terrible addiction. The addiction of forever put, putting ourselves down and the addiction of not having self-belief in us. Maybe you feel that your spouse won't allow you to grow. Have you actually spoken to them and told them how unhappy you are? The fairies say that when we're responsible for ourselves, we're more responsible for others. That is, when we are happy, our family, friends, children and spouse enjoy being around us and are inspired by our strength and our confidence. 
pray for help in releasing your fears and insisting you in breaking free. God's plan is that you be responsible while simultaneously feeling as free as the birds, angels and fairies. So basically it's telling you to take responsibility for your own life. And instead of stop saying, oh, it's because of them that I can't do this, because of this, this because of this action, I can't do that. Because sometimes it's now, it's time, times we need to look back and see what happens. Because a lot of the times we did have a choice. I mean, a lot of times we don't have a choice of where we're born and things like that. But then you have a choice to go, you know, if you're at school and you're thinking, well, I'm living in a place like this and I don't want it. We have the choice to work hard and pass your exams and go on to college. And if you say, well, I have to work, well, there's evening classes, weekend courses. To exam and then you can get the qualifications to better yourselves. Maybe it's time, you know, to actually think, you know, you know, I, when I met this person, you were like this. Maybe it's time to communicate, take responsibility and communicate and say to yourself and be honest. I am really not happy where I am. I want to break free. Free of not all of the resort because we still got responsibilities for children and family and things like that. But break free out of the situation you're in, because if you're really happy where you are, then you don't need to break free. But if you look at all your things, you know, I'm bored, break free of boredom, find a new hobby, start reading, start drawing. There's adult colouring books around. Bought my daughter some for Christmas. Um, you know, so, you know, I'm bored with life. I'm bored with this. Um, I'm bored with the home. Well, you can't possibly change the home because, you know, it's pandemic. But maybe you can, I don't know, do some DIY. Paint the walls a different colour. <gasps> Bring some flowers in and brighten up the room. Do some chucking out some stuff you don't do anymore so, and sell it. And then you can buy, use the money to buy some more things in. I know a lot of people are struggling at the moment. Oh, I do. You know, with COVID and the pandemic and loss of money, loss of jobs. It is hard. And my heart goes out to you all. But sometimes this illusion of being trapped is just an illusion of thoughts in our minds. And he's telling us that, yeah, break free. Have a look at what you want to change in your life. And is it an illusion? And taking responsibility for your own actions to decide, I don't like this anymore. I don't want this anymore. No, 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 no. So there is an affirmation that you could try. I am free and I am powerful. I now allow myself to enjoy this freedom and power. Breathe in, hold. I am free. I am powerful. I now allow myself to enjoy this freedom and power. Sit up. Really believe it. Tell yourself, I am free. I am powerful. I allow myself to enjoy this freedom and power. I am breaking free. I am free and I am powerful and I allow myself to enjoy this freedom and power and I am breaking free. I am free. I am powerful. I now allow myself to enjoy this freedom and power and I'm breaking free. Wow, I love this card. And maybe today your act of kindness is to yourself to break free. Have an absolutely amazing day. If you've enjoyed this reading, um, don't forget to press the subscribe button, which is going to show up in a minute. If you want to arrange your own reading with me, do um, half hour and full readings. And if you want to actually book a mentoring session, with me. I do have some limited spaces again, of course, because I do mentoring coaching sessions spiritually based. So if you're thinking, how can I break free? Message me and book a mentoring session today. Have an amazing day. And remember, be kind to yourself today. Namaste. Bye.